Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and I'm kind of responding to something Andrew Clavin said in his video that I'm linking to below. Allow me to explain leftist theory. And uh, he says that leftists are fine with abortion because they're okay with killing a baby as long as you do it before it comes out, because then you can see its face and you can't lie to yourself that it's not a baby. I'm sorry, Andrew, you're wrong. They are fine with killing the baby after birth, but... The important thing isn't whether the baby's been born or not. The important thing is whether prior to the baby being killed, the mother gave a lot of money to somebody who donates money to Democrat politicians and signed a paper saying, yes, kill the baby. Then that person who donates money to Democrats does something to make the baby come out. If it's already dead, there's no problem. If it's not dead, they just drown it in the toilet. And then that's vital reproductive health care. Now, if the woman does not give money to the person who donates money to Democrats and instead gives birth in a toilet at Burger King and drowns the baby herself, that's infanticide. And it's really tragic and could have been avoided if only the woman had first given money to somebody who donates to Democrats and had that person drown the baby in an abortion clinic toilet. Okay? So... The, the scenario where she drowns her own baby, that's infanticide. She's not guilty. Uh, it, it is a dead baby. It's a dead baby. It's very sad. But this whole thing could have been avoided if she'd had access to an abortion. An abortion is when she gives money to a Democrat donor. And the Democrat donor kills the baby, even if he uses the same method she would have used in the bathroom at Burger King. The key factor here in whether it's reproductive health care or infanticide is... Did the person who drowned the baby in the toilet donate any money to Democrats?